All right. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Brakathea Hawa, Brakathea Hawa Shai, Call Hawa Yahawa, Basham Yahawa Shai, Basham Raka Kordash. Double honors to the apostles of GMS who rule well and who taught me this truth. And uh, Shalom to you, sincere Akiam, out there listening, learning, and pushing this truth. And uh, Shalom to the few sincere Akwath that are out there listening and learning as well. With that being said, I'm going to jump straight into this video. I don't want to write the It'll be edifying. As usual, I'm going to go in the Raka Kwadash. And it's going to be real quick. I'm not going to um, speak too much. I'm going to let the article um, speak for itself. You know, because I don't, I don't want to get the video stricken. And I'm going um, to bring out a couple scriptures. The scriptures pretty much uh, break themselves down. You know, straight to, straightforward scriptures. And um, as you can see, it's based upon uh, the article in front of you off of RT. And it uh, reads, uh, disclosing you know what data may take until 2096. So they're saying they're not going to, um, you know, it may take up until 2096 which <laughs> the, these people are bugged out. The Lord, Lord's will, I don't want to write this out, we'll be up out of here way before that, you know, because we can see our redemption is nigh. And this devil knows our redemption is nigh. That's why Revelation 12 and 12, you know, this, that's wishful thinking, you know, <laughs> 2096. You'll be, in way, you'll be in chains <laughs> way long before that, okay? You see, but there's, you know, but you, you get that, you, you know what I'm saying. Then you're not going to know what's in these jump shots, period. <laughs> but we already know what's in it because we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. And plus, um, the Lord is having this man exposed. That man of sin is revealed. You know, per Psalms, um, their tongues are falling upon themselves. You got the truthers. So so we know what's up. We know what's in them. We, you can't even speak on it because, you know, it's medical misinformation. So anyway, let me let me get off of that. Let me let me hit some scriptures because, uh, you know, I, before I say something, I shouldn't and get the video stricken you know that's how we know we're at the end of this thing man the famine of the word is drawing nigh hey 2022 is gonna be a hell of a year you know um but um let's see let's start with job 13 and 4 we know it straight to the point but ye are forgers of lies ye are all physicians of no value okay and that breaks itself down okay and that's why the lord says um to never trust thine enemy, you know, you know, we know what this man's end goal is, you know, we, we know about the Georgia Guidestones, again, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, and we know he has a, a, a revelation 12 and 12, he knows that he have but a short time, he's coming down with great wrath, you know, you know, and we know all roads are leading to that, you know what, that karagma, you know, Ecclesiasticus 12 and 13, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? or any as such as come nigh wild beast, okay? So, we, and then, you know, when you read up in verse 10, it says, never trust thine enemy. We know it, and we know who our, our, who our chief enemy, our chief adversary is, Esau, Edom, the wicked, all right? You know, you know, and he has a short time to, to accomplish this new world order, this digital age that he's ushering, ushering in that's going to be spearheaded by the Karagma, Okay, and all roads are leading to that, man. But guess what? Our redemption is nigh. Okay, you know, Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You know, and the, and the Lord have not done away with his people. All right, you know, hey, we're at, we're at the door of Jacob's trouble. But guess what? The elect of Jacob is going to get saved up out of that. And that's why we're given diligence. All right. This is Psalms chapter 17, verse 13. Arise, O Lord Yahweh. All right. And he's going to do that through his son, Yahweh Shai. That's why we say Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, in the name of, you know, the father and his son. You, you see, Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shai. And the Rakak Wadash, the Holy Spirit that's guiding us. You know, it says, Arise, O Lord Yahweh, disappoint him. And it says, Disappoint him, cast him down. All right. You know, we know that the Lord is faithful and true and just. You know, when this devil is, is thinks he's about to get his fill, he's about to vomit up all these riches. You know, the Lord is about to recompense them. They're about to get double of his cup. You know, and he knoweth this, man. He know he got a short time. That's why he's going to come hard body. You know, 
Daniel 12 and 1, a time at never before. It, we right there, you know. Arise, O Lord, Yahweh, disappoint him, cast him down. Yeah, come sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. There is no throne. You see? You see? You see? Deliver my soul from the wicked. I told you that's Esau, Edom, per Malachi, the border of wickedness, you know, which is thy sword. All right? You see? And that's what they want to do. They want to destroy us, man. They want to cut us off from being a people. People. That the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and, and, and Yasharala be no more in remembrance. You see? And he does that through his, his legislation, his words. Many his Babylon juice. He's got many, many wiles of the devil. You see? Many wiles of this devil. You know? That's why we're not ignorant of Satan's devices. That's why we're not gonna take your, your devil's piss and your beetle juice, okay? Your deadly cocktails. And we damn sure are not gonna take your mark. Okay? You see? Lord's will. We keep enduring. Now, this is Psalms 55 and 21. And that's why we don't trust you, man. Hey, this devil speaks with a forked tongue. You know, you see? He's not even disclosing what's in them jump shots. And he's telling you in the article, you, you're not going to know till 2096. And he's going to be long in chains by then. <laughs> Lord's will. Okay? This is Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth. Who? This devil. Because he's in the power seat, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given to the hands of the wicked. He's in the power seat, and he's bringing forth this, un, these unrighteous decrees, these draconian legislations, this global reach. He's ushering this new age in. You see, this is all his enterprise, you know? You see? And he's doing it through his words, his legislation, his crafty counsel, you see? But the Lord, like King David said, hide me, arise, O Lord. Disappoint him. The Lord is going to disappoint this devil. He's in this trick bag, okay? <laughs> Our Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, I created the smith that blow off the coal. You see? You see? Them wep, them nukes is for our Lord. You know, our Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, the Lord of hosts. You know, he musters the hosts of the battle. Them, the, them, him, the, the, them nukes is, are his weapons of indignation. So Esau's in the trick bag. You see, but, he, but hey, you know, it's beautiful times, man. Beautiful times. Psalms 55 and 21. The words of his mouth, Esau, Edom, were smoother than butter. Yeah, he's always he's got some slick shit to say, man. Like he's got your best interests at heart, okay? The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, you know? You're being selfish, you see? It's about the greater good and this, that, and the third, right? You know, we got, we got, um, we got stations set up here. We got stations set up there. We'll give you a large fry and, uh, and a McFlurry and shit, you know, you know, you know, we give you an ounce of the sticky icky, you know, just come down here and get these jump shots, you see, and everything will go back to normal. But you see, if you're paying attention in, in, in England, in Europe, they about to lock, they locking shit down again. They talking about, uh, this new, uh, like the brother said, Omarion uh, variant is, is, is making them resort to plan B. You see? You see? So uh, this devil is going forward with his agenda. Okay, we're not ignorant of his devices. It says, the words of his mouth were smoother than butter. He speaks with a forked tongue. Gad told you that. Okay? You see? But war is in his heart because that's his blessing, the sword. He came to take peace from the earth. He's that red horse. Okay? You see? But war is in his heart. And he really wants to make war against our power. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. His daddy. You see? He's going to fight against his maker. You see? The pride of his heart have deceived him. His terribleness have deceived him. You see? You see? Obadiah. Who's that talking about? The wicked. Esau Edom. Okay? The vessels of wrath fitted to destruction. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war is in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet were they drawn swords. You see? Because they what? They want to they wanna ultimately destroy uh, Yasharala and, and, and cut the name of Yahweh Yahweh Shai out. They want to be the power. They, they want, you know, they want to rule forever. You know, they think they the God. You see? But anyway, let's read some of this article. Uh... Again, off of RT, it's from dated uh, December 9th, 2021, the year of hastening the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. 
It says the closing, disclosing, you know what data may take until 2096. It says the U.S. the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is cooperating with a Freedom of Information Act request for clinical data associated with, um, you know what, but may require 75 years to do so. You know, and, wow. Even I'm not. I'm gonna just read it. It says even longer than a prior estimate. Yeah, because I I forget when they said they had said um. 26 or something i i forget anyway it says uh the fda has insisted it cannot commit to a faster release of the medical data associated with the approval of the you know what according to a legal brief filed on tuesday in response to the foia request the agency reiterated that after processing 12,000 pages in about a two-month period the words of his mouth, see? Hey, yo, man, his new speech, it, the fine, you got to read the fine print. His words are smoother than butter, but wars in his heart. You see? He's hot, hot, you know, hiding shit with, you know. You can't trust this devil, you know? The agency retired, or slacking, my, my bad, reiterated that after processing 12,000 pages in about a two-month period, it will only be able to process 500 pages per month going forward with tens with tens of thousands of additional files up for review plaintiffs fear the process may drag on two decades longer than the previous 55 year estimate so they said they wasn't going initially that 55 years now it's 70 wow and you people just taking it and you don't know what the hell is in it wow and the FDA hasn't approved it it says lawyer uh, Aaron Siri sued the FDA on behalf of a group of doctors calling themselves public health and medical professions for transparency who had previously complained because this kingdom is divided. That's another reason why we know this place is through. You know, it can't stand. You know, this, a kingdom is divided. Satan is divided, man. That's another sign that we're at the end. You know, it says, um, Lori Aaron Siri. It's a, law it's a lawyer, Aaron Siri, sued the FDA on behalf of a group of doctors calling themselves public health and medical professions for transparency, who had previ previously complained the FDA wasn't supplying the data they had requested in a timely fashion, having pointed out last month that the FDA had looked through, I'm not even going to say that word, that company's document, right? And a mere 108 days in order to license the the jump shots, okay? So how, they, 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 they're hypocrites, you know? They're saying that they don't. it only took them 108 days to, to license it, but, but now they're saying it's going to take 75 years and shit, you know? It says, Siri questioned a word smoother than butter. He's a slick man. This man's a devil. The Bible speaks of devil means deceiver. That's why you can't trust him. It says, Siri uh, questioned... Why the agency now required a whopping 20,000 days to make the same documents public. It says approximately 451,000 pages regarding the clinical trials for a vaccine. For a, you know what, millions of Americans are being mandated, unrighteous decrees, okay, to take will remain floating in legal limbo up to 75 years if the agency has it, has it its way Siri warned. It says he called it dystopian for the government to pay. Look that word up. You see, that's what they want. That's what they want, man. That's what they want. He called it dystopian for the for the government to pay that companies billions of dollars, shield it from lawsuits, and require citizens to be injected with with its product, only to refuse access to documents used to grant its licensure in the first place the fda has justified the unusual timetable by pointing out its center for biologics evaluation and research the body tasked with reviewing the records only has 10 staffers to whom are new wow the fda also uh, a Complained that stepping up the pace would divert significant resources away from the processing of other FOI re requests that are also in litigation. 
So they make they basically they making a bunch of excuses. But that's the point. That's the point. You you you, you idiots are, are taking this shit, man. Just bowing, man. You know. But it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is, man. It is what it is. You can't say you weren't warned. Hey, it is what it is. And we're not going to feel sorry for you. Okay? Again, read a, read the whole chapter. All right? Never trust thine enemy. But you, you don't believe this man is your enemy. He's your friend. He loves you. Ecclesiasticus 12 and 13. Read the whole chapter. All right? The main point is in 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? We all know who the serpent is. Esau Edom. He's a devil the Bible speaks of. He's our number one adversary. All right. And he has a perpetual hatred toward his brother Jacob over the birthright, over the blessing. You see? So, hey, it is. You want to trust that devil if you want. Go on and wait till 2096 to figure out what was in it. It says, who will pity a, a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such as come nigh wild beast? And Esau Edom is a brute beast. He's the basis of men. He's the wicked. He's the devil the Bible speaks of, man. So why would you trust this devil? Hey, but hey, you can't say you weren't warned. Hey, you can't say you didn't hear this word. There's just no cloak for your sin. You know, so it is what it is. Shalom. Keep pushing. We're close. Wa abad babal.